Then, well, flood waters pose a health and safety risk, but some people keep trying to get out into the water for fun. Today, officials are cracking down on that. Chris Hernandez is live in Parkville to show us why. Chris? Well, Mark, the barricades are getting bigger. That's because police say people have been busting through these barriers to go out there and get into the flood waters. The mayor of Parkville himself saw a woman with two kids playing in the water yesterday. They had actually put on life jackets to come down here to have some fun. But police say that's a big risk, and they'll write you a ticket if they catch you. Amy Guerrera, her kids, and two friends walked along the water's edge, wanting to see the rising river and get up close. We we're looking for fish and uh, frogs and just to see what uh, it's composed of. They stood with toes to the water line, but when two year old Lucy tried to touch the water, her mom had other ideas. You never know what type of bacteria or, you know what it's going to bring. Guerrero's right. Health officials say this flood water is contaminated with E. coli, raw sewage, and eggs that could hatch into worms inside your body. It looks dirty. Frogs, poo, water. water. Seeing the river is a field trip for these boys between golf rounds, but Parkville police are watching them, ready to write tickets to those who cross the barriers to get in the water. We have it quarantined off for a reason because the water's contaminated, it's nasty, it moves swiftly uh, in a lot of areas, and you don't know how deep it is in spots. At Caw Point on the Kansas side, boaters keep cutting police tape to get down to the dock. Wyandotte County deputies ordered bigger barricades that were put in place today. People, when they go swimming, they don't understand the current of that fast water and how quickly people can drown, how boats can be tipped over. It's just unstable. Trash washing up shows more of the health risk. Would you swim in a pool polluted with oil and industrial waste? Now take a look. That is where the barricade line had been throughout the day today, but the water is already creeping higher past that. So just in the past hour, they put a new barricade here on this side of the street. Keep in mind that because of the health risk, the Platte County Health Department has extended its offer of free tetanus shots. They say they've already given 350 shots. Reporting live in Parkville, Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News. All right. Some good advice. Thanks, Chris.